got 2024 June flights 1v1 stats record and shot chart. What's good YouTube? Today I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be breaking down June flights 1v1s. Of course, this has been a tradition for the past four to five years, so it's only right to bring this series. Hold on chat. So we know flight isn't the best at shooting. He has hella bricks in his 1v1. So I want y'all to comment right now. Is it under or over 30%? Matter of fact, no, that's that's doing him a disservice a little bit. Under or over 35% from the field? Under, under. <laughs> All right, everybody saying under? All right, I'm gonna go under too, man. Back. In today's video, I'll be analyzing his overall game, his young record, his young stats, and even provide a shot chart at the end. Then right after that, I will be comparing this young flight to the past versions to see if he really got better. This video took quite a while to put together, so without further ado, let's get into it. First, let's talk about Junefly's overall game this year. Offensively, he was actually attacking way more to the basket. Flight mm -hmm. finally realized that he's 6'3", so he started finally. to absorb way more contact. In fact, Flight was able to develop a nice left hand touch at the rim. One of his go-to moves was this left hand floater, which seemed to be pretty hard to defend. Back then, this used to be one of Fly's biggest weaknesses, so it's great to see the improvement. Also, Fly had a great same foot layup, especially with his right hand. The ability to get it up quick gave him an advantage over the defense since they didn't have enough time to react. Overall, Fly's footwork definitely improved. I mean, I've never seen Fly hit a step through layup like this one in my entire 19 years of Ew, like from the free throw line? Fakes and looking to counter his shots. Still, that I think that's the only 1v1 he won against Canel Joseph. I didn't watch that one. I don't feel like reacting to it. I mean, I should because, you know, we watch Flight's low lights when he loses, so I feel like we got to watch his highlights. But y'all want me to react to that? Yes or no? It has areas to improve on his finishes. There's times where Flight does stupid shit like this. He definitely Yo. needs to be more consistent with his soft touch at the rim. Also, he needs to limit those running hook shots so he can get easier looks at the rim. Still, I am proud of Flight for attacking way more to the basket. Those last few games of June is how Flight should play every single time, and I'm looking forward to the upcoming 1v1s. However, Flight's jump 75 shot driving layup. throughout this whole June. More like 70. God damn, hit the fucking rim! <laughs> W his crash out. His were all over the place and he affected his three ball. In fact, Fly had nearly 30 air balls throughout this whole June. 27 air balls? Damn, Fly? To about two air balls per game. Overall, two air Fly balls per game, that's nasty. On this court, I can understand on this court. Cause after like seeing it when I was editing, that's the type of court where like, it's not really 10 feet. Those type of courts be like 11 feet. Or like 11 and a half. They're not 10 feet. I don't know why they make courts like that around the world, but it is what it is. But overall, it was like, I mean, eh, still two air balls per game is crazy. Follow through. Oh, so he had a hard time finding that balance between overshooting and not. Now on that court, there is no excuse for that. There is no excuse for that at all. Short. A lot of his shots were hitting back rim, which is just evident that Flight didn't get as much reps as in previous years. However, this easily can be fixed with training. Hopefully, Flight can get back Ew. to R2 or even try to train with B. Ellis. I mean, he's the one that got Cash's jumper and handle to be really consistent, so anything could help. If he keeps playing like those last few games of June, I firmly believe that Flight will win way more games. However, in order for him to do so, Flight and needs one. to improve his defense. Part of it was his stamina, but it still doesn't excuse him from the basic fundamentals. Fundamentals. Throughout this June, Fly got beat off the dribble way too much and allowed his opponents to stay in front of him. That game against Jeff was probably one of the worst displays I've seen defensively. Remember Fly? Yeah, that was bad. Expense, so you start Jeff not even a finisher like that. Jeff is shooter. To rip the ball from behind at times, but that's technically still a gamble. It won't be there every time, so I just suggest you to move your feet. Also, when playing against shooters, Fly needs to get up on shots. I mean, the amount of no look threes I saw this June was unreal. This was a big reason Top why GL. Fly's started most of his games down by a lot. If he can just try to start games stronger, Fly won't have to fight back every single game and gas himself out. Start strong and learn how to adjust mid-game. Basically, don't let things get out of control. However, I will acknowledge what the? that Fly did occasionally game. Basically, what is that don't move, let things chat? get out of control. However, that's not... That's unorthodox. I mean, it went in, but that's just a weird move, dog. Like, Nine times out of ten, you are not making that. I don't know why he does that. I mean, he do be making it, though, but at the same time, it's like it take him um, a lot of shots to make that bit. 
But I will acknowledge that Fly did occasionally do a decent job protecting the rim. Whenever he was actually in front of the opponent, they had a hard time getting shots up. If Fly can just stay consistent on both ends of the floor, he will be good to go. Remember Fly, I'm doing this video so you can look at your strengths and weaknesses and get better. I really want you to succeed in this 1v1, so hopefully you can use this video as a guide to future Ew. IRLs. Now with all that being said, let's talk about June Fly's 1v1 record and stats from this year. What was his record? In June of 2024, Fly played a total of 15 1v1 games. 15, and I'm 15 1v1s? Yo, Flight had to make at least a good... Every 1v1 is getting like probably 152,000 views. His 1v1 against Ray almost got a million views. Flight had to make a good four or 500,000. I might be pushing it, but... You never know, you never know. I'm going to count all of them. This includes the 1v1s on LSK's channel as well as the rematch on Royce's channel. With that in mind, Fly had a record of 2 and 13. With he got two wins? So he beat Canel. Who was the second win against? I missed that video. There's losses coming against Face Swag, Jidel, LSK twice, Geo Wise, Ryan the Crash Dummy, Jeff. Don J, Fly Funny, Kyle, I respect that. Boy, oh, yeah, for Twice, sure. Free Green and Cash Nasty. His worst game stat wise was easily against Don J on June 20th of 2024. In that game, Fly shot an awful six. 8 for 50 in a 1v1. What were they going to? 8 for. I'm trying to think. If you're going to 21, okay, maybe. Especially on that type of rim, maybe. But if you're going to what they go to 13 if you're taking a fifth oh for 18 from three oh my god <laughs> i didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even notice that oh for 18 from three god 15 from the field and zero percent from three as he shot eight from 50 from the field and all of 18 from three However, Fly did win two games with those coming against Baby Rich and Canel Joseph. His best for Fly who? did win two games with those coming against Baby Rich and Canel. Baby who? What is that his home or something? Yo, is that Chris from Mr. Beast Crew? Oh, this is a troll, bro. Yo, that's crazy. Joseph. His or I think her name is Ava now or something Kenel like that. Joseph on June 22nd of Yo. In that game, Fly shot 46% from the field as he shot 11 for 24. 24 from the field and had 11 points eh. in the victory. Now, if you guys want to see the rest of the stats from the other games, it is on the screen right now and feel free to pause. Oh yeah, we're going to pause it. We're going to dissect this. So, phase flag was the first one. 6 for 18 from the field, 2 of 10, no, 3 of 10 from 3. No, that's, that's two point attempts. 3 of 8 from 3. Not bad. So let's just do the field goal percentage. 33, 26, 27, 15, 22, 32, 22, 24. 16% against Don J, Jesus. 46, 20, 41, 40, 28, 28. So it's funny how in one of his wins, he shot 22% from the field. That is not good, bro. He put up 44 shots against Kenny. I mean, yeah, they was breaking. I ain't gonna lie. We were saying, damn, like, Almost all videos, so that makes sense. Lost to Roy in that first game, shot 41%. Not bad. So his highest percentage came against Canel and his W. Because Canel don't really hoop like that, so I'm not surprised. And his second highest came against Roy. Pretty decent. Roy was a D1 walk on, and that's pretty decent. Oh, 40% against Roy, too. Tough. Tough light. Not bad, but overall, still type shitty. Pause the video if you want to see it. Anyways, to conclude this section of the video, Fly had a June record of 2 and 13, and when you combine this with his all time record, Fly is now 23 and 112. 23 and 112. Fly, you have to get up, bro. You have to get up. Please get up, bro. 23 and 112. Chat, that's like a point. I'm not even sure if that's like a point 100. Hold on, I gotta look that up because that's insane, bro. That's a 17% win percentage. So that's like a point, what is that, point 0.170? Jesus, bro. 17% chat. I know it's backward on the screen, but 17, Jesus, bro. Jesus. 112. Now let's talk about June Fly's 1v1 stats from this year. 
In the 15 games that I researched, Vlad attempted a total of 377 shots from the field and made 96 of them, which okay. results in a 25 total field goal percentage. That Hopefully, is shit. Vlad attempted 125 shots, but only made 15 of them, which results in a 12 three-point field goal percentage. 12% now, percent from three. Shot chart from the Damn! <laughs> this is going to be the thumbnail right here. I'm going to put my face right here, and I'm going to be like, God, yo. So as you can see, all these layups right here, all them bullshit hook layups or whatever he be doing, bro loves shooting top of the, I didn't even know he shot that many top of the key threes. He think he cashed nasty when he really not. Flight, just continue to work on driving from this left side. That's where I see a lot of the green and just stick to the corners, bro. The wing and the top of the key, just, just stay in this area, bro, because three pointers are not for you. That's it. That's so many X's, bro. Damn. Before, I know there's a lot going on right here, so let me break it down. As you see, Flight was pretty efficient around this left block. And That's what I'm saying, bro. When he drive left and then put up that bullshit when he's leaning left and put up with his right, he's valid. But other than that, he just, I don't know, bruh. Right block just goes to show that Flight needs to keep attacking the basket. Also, Flight didn't shoot as bad from this right corner. Exactly. That's where he most of his threes, so hopefully Stay Flight in that right corner. that one spot. And last but not least, Flight shot terribly from the top of the key. I mean, the amount of red right here compared to any other spot is insane. Hopefully, Flight can get in the lab soon and work on that jump shot. ASAP, bro. ASAP. Said, let's compare this young Flight to the previous years. As you see, Flight's field goal percentage went down two percent and his three went down nine percent however mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that flight still didn't improve if you compare them to 2021 and 2022 2024 june flight was definitely better as far as 2020 it's quite similar but that three point percentage this year really affects him now with his shot uh -oh. chart you can see a lot of similarities as far as the three ball red yeah i ain't gonna lie this one this one type look worse than this one. Eh, nah, capped. It's just all these X's. They both got all these X's, but X's right here too. I mean, it's type equal. It looked like he shot more threes last year. Overall, damn, this one's bad. I guess he didn't do that many 1v1s in 2021, but bro made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 shots. I'm not even going to count the X's. Damn. Yeah, flight. Flight is a different breed. Flight need to get in a gym with a trainer, bro, like a real trainer. It's all over the place. However, with this 2024 June one, Flight was way more efficient at the rim. 2020 and 2024 look the most familiar ones, which isn't bad at all. As of right yes, now, sir, I'll Barry. 2024 June Flight as the third best June version. My list is number one, 2023, yep. number two, 2020, number three, 2024, number four, 2022, and number five, 2021. Let me know if you guys I agree with this list right here. I think it's pretty accurate if you compare the numbers. Maybe all pretty, pretty solid list. 2024 if you so will. he got 2023 first. That's his best field goal percentage. Yep. Okay. And then he had 2020, 2020, 24 percent. I think he shot better from three. I think that's why he put him there. In 2024, 2022, and in 2021 he barely played any. Okay. I like the list. I like I it. It's, it's valid. Accurate if you compare the numbers, maybe alternate 2020 and 2024 if you yeah, want. Yeah, that's the only thing I would change. Stands as the best version. And that pretty much concludes this video. Now we know how 2024 June Fly performed in comparison to previous years. His driving to the basket definitely improved, but his shot and defense still needs more work in order to win more basketball games. But what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on June Fly this year? What overall will you give him? Let me know in the comments. Now, real quick before this video ends, let me know if you guys want me to play Fly and Cash during this month of July. I'll be going to LA pretty soon, so if you're watching Fly and Cash, let me know if you're down for the ones. Anyways, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications for future content. I hope everyone has a great day. Peace out. Peace out. So I ain't gonna lie, bro. Flight need to get back in the gym ASAP. Like, you have to start this month and then keep training all the way until June of 2025. Because if you don't do that, you're just gonna get fried again. Also, I like how this guy, he said, you know, if you wanna see me play cash and flight, blah, blah, blah. You gonna be out in LA. I see him trying to plug himself in there so he can get more buzz. W plugging, W plugging, but overall, flight. Ah.
I need to work on his game, no cap. If he gets a decent three ball, he'll be straight. I want to see flight like, I want to see him work on his footwork more. Like, drive and then do a pump fake, spin around and do like, I mean, he can't do a fadeaway. What am I talking about? He could barely hit one dribble pull up. Overall, you got a whole year to practice flight. Please, bro, come back next year better. We don't want to see you shoot under 20% again from three. If you can get us like 25, 30% from three next year, and field goal percentage around like 35, 40%. We'll be fine with that. Also, chat, we all would have won money if we bet on flights under because he definitely shot under 35. 35 was mad high. Like, we would have made so much bread. I would have put my house on that if I knew it was going to be that low. God.